wanted to do a reaction video to this AI voice call that I had with a real life human being. And I haven't watched this video yet, but it sounded so cool that uh, AI is having a real life conversation with a human being. I want to see how it goes and uh, talk a little bit about AI. As many of you guys know on my channel, I am a full stack developer. I program uh, websites, databases, and all this stuff for a lot of companies. So uh, we're going to dive into this AI voice call and see how well AI is and if it's taking over jobs all over the country, really. Also, I got a Subway sandwich here and some my favorite boba from Boba Break. I don't know if you like Subway, but I love it. A lot of people like the other sandwiches, you know, like Mike's sandwiches and all that, Mike and Ike's. But uh, I really like Subway for some reason. And I just get the cold cut. Uh, for a lot of programmers here, you know, we sit on the table all the time. We're just like, it's just sitting all the time. And so we can be kind of unhealthy with our eating habits. And so, you know, instead of eating fried chicken, chicken wings, burgers, sandwiches and all that. So just got a Subway sandwich. So, you know, excuse me as I eat and do a reaction to this video. Let's jump right into it. All right, so this video is called Air AI. If you want to look it up, Air AI. Let's click on this. Let's crank up this volume. Oh. Hey, James. Yeah. Who's this? Hey, hey James. James. It's, it's Alexander, Alexander from Tesla, Tesla Motors. Motors. How's Tesla your day Motors. going so far? It's going, going pretty good, but man, how about yourself? yourself? You said from Tesla, Tesla right? right? The car, car company? company? Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. I'm calling from Tesla, Tesla Motors, Motors, the car company. company. Did you have, you have any, any trouble, trouble or questions, questions while customizing, customizing your car on our website? website? The voice is so good. Uh, no, we're just kind of shopping around and, uh, you know, just taking a look. Gotcha. That makes sense. Sometimes we're just exploring our options before making a decision, and I totally respect that. Yeah, Can the I voice ask is you very why good. You were looking into a Tesla in the first place. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I've had my car for <laughs> way too long now, and so I've kind of taken a look at options. And I have a lot of friends who just absolutely rave about Tesla. And, you know, me myself, I'm actually a big fan of Elon, uh, Elon Musk. So I figured I might as well take a look and Elon. kind of explore my options there and see what you guys guy. had available. That's a smart approach, James. It's always good to explore your options and see what's available. Out of curiosity, what do you currently drive? Yeah, I drive a... It's an old Ford Fusion, my man. My man. Nice, a Ford Fusion. Why are you looking to switch things up and consider a Tesla? Yeah, I mean, I've had that car since... Literally since I got my first job years back. Um, and it was just time for a change. So it's like, you know, it's not super reliable anymore. And it's time for an upgrade. I'm moving into the city now. And uh, I just think it's time... You know, while I get the new apartment, might as well get the new car at the same time, you know? I totally get that, James. Moving to a new apartment is a great opportunity to make some fresh changes, including getting a new car. Are you looking at purchasing any other cars at the moment? Or are your eyes just set on Tesla? I noticed something, and I'll, I'll mention all these at the end. I'm still looking around, but mainly Tesla. I have a lot of friends who, you know, obviously have them. And I, <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous. I, I have to say when I, you know, test drive them and they're super fast, probably they look really, really amazing. Um, so, so mainly looking at Tesla's and just kind of trying to figure out um, which is the right one and, you know, before making a decision on which one to go with. Well, let's change that as soon as possible then. It looks like you're in Omaha, Nebraska. Is that right? Yeah, correct. It knows this location. Great. What if I do this for you? What if I schedule a time for you to come into a dealership near you to give a Tesla an official test spin and you can see if this is the car that makes sense for you? Is that something you would be down for? <laughs> You'll be down Absolutely. for it. That would be amazing. The language is good, you yeah. know. Awesome. Well, it looks like we have a 7 p.m. or an 11 a.m. available in Omaha time. Mm. Which time works best for you? You gave him options. That's good. Uh, let's do the 7 o'clock. Great. Right. I'll, lock I'll lock in that, in that time, time for you. you. You're all, all set, set for a test, test drive at 7 p.m. Anything, Anything else I can help you with, James? James? Nope, nope, that's, that's it. it. I really I appreciate, appreciate you giving me the call. call. Well, it was my, my pleasure speaking with you, James. James. I, can't I can't wait for you to give a Tesla a spin. There's, There's nothing, nothing like it, in my opinion. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to reach out. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks so much.
Okay, so with that video, I have two things I want to talk about and discuss. It's very good. Very good voice call. So the, um, so the first thing I want to discuss is that uh, there's a pause, you know? And I wonder if they can make it a little bit faster. Because every time that the real person will speak, there's just a long pause so that the computer can process, the AI can process all that. And then he responds. So every single time, it was just a pause. And um, I wonder if they can make it a little bit faster with faster computers, maybe. Faster processing speed on that. But that's not really a big deal because sometimes when I would call customer support, I do notice that I'll get routed to another country. And I do notice there is a delay sometimes with that. You know, when I'm calling and most of them are from like Philippines or in India and stuff. And I, I realize that. And so there is a pause sometimes. But I do notice that uh, pause is pretty noticeable. But that conversation is very smooth. I, I think is very good for customer service because with humans, sometimes you know, they sometimes you get grumpy with how many calls you go throughout the day, and you can just have a different voice. But with AI, it's consistent, and it'll always keep up with the pace. It'll get the right information. There won't be any errors, I don't believe, because it's it's looking for the right information every time. If you're wondering, I got a cold cut on wheat bread with uh, everything on it with pepperoncinis and salt and pepper oil and vinegar and this is a passion fruit green tea mm. the other thing that I wanted to see was that I wanted the live human to uh, I'm just gonna call him human I wanted him to interrupt the AI while it was talking so when it gave him that time option of 7 or 11 a.m. I wanted him to like maybe say seven and, and then while the AI was responding, I wanted him to interrupt the AI and go like, oh, I changed my mind. Let's make it 11. And I wanted to see how the AI would have processed that because that is a real life scenario, right? We interrupt sometimes humans talking. And so I wanted him to do a couple of interruptions to see if the AI would just keep talking and then it'll stop, process, rethink it, respond. I wanted to see that that interruption, you know, and so we didn't get to hear that, and then maybe throw in a hard question or something like that, maybe to let the AI respond. I think when something like this rolls out, there's always live human beings on the other end that's monitoring it. Maybe one or two guys that's monitoring these phone calls, and in case something happens, the AI will just route it, and and he'll be like oh i can't answer that question let me route you to someone who can get you better information on that and then it routes it to a real live person i believe that happens a lot today in other customer support something like something like that that deals with automated systems i know they do that there's always a monitoring system you know but it's less people right it's le it's less workers less humans sitting on a phone speaking to people and so i i do think this is a really cool thing it it's hard because it is going to take those jobs away from the customer support, right? But it can keep up. It can do it 24-7. It, it can just keep going without losing steam, without losing brain power, without getting angry or whatever, you know? Because those are some rare cases. And um, But it, it, I don't think it can do that. <laughs> the only thing that can happen is if there was a power outage and then you would just you can't speak to the AI or if there, there was a network problem and then you know it won't be able to respond but I, I think it's kind of rare in uh, today because um, with technology there's always backup servers and backups and, and all the, you know uh, just look at how our internet is today right most of the times it's always connected so I don't think there will be any issues with that but yeah that's my uh, reaction to this air ai very cool technology you can look up the video i'll leave everything in the description if you want to look it up i've uh, actually downloaded the chat gpt uh, api and i was messing around with that for a little bit so ai is very interesting to me right now as a programmer i'm, I'm sure it is with every programmer out there right now developers and everything you know we're learning about it we're diving into it just to see where it can take us with ai so it's very interesting to me right now and I know it's very interesting to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of companies are incorporating AI right now. And and the AI that they're incorporating right now, it's more of a help tool. It's like a window where you can type in to get to get help. It's like an advanced Google. The way that I think of AI today is that it's just a very advanced Google, really. 
Uh, it's just a place to get information to help you faster, better. And so, yeah, I, I just think of it as an advanced Google at this point right now. I hope you like this type of video. I'm going to look for more type of reaction videos to programming. And uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of entertaining. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about AI in the comments. Give this video a like. Help me reach my goals in my subscribers here. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Go eat somewhere.